Hi everyone, welcome back to Home Time with Robbie and Susie. As we continue to explore the continent of South America, one country we're looking at today is called Bolivia. And in Bolivia is the biggest rainforest in the world. It's called the Amazon Rainforest. Would you like to come and learn? Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh. Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I? I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I? Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. I'm so excited to learn about Bolivia and the Amazon rainforest. I have here the Bolivian flag. In this flag has red, yellow and green, which is similar to some of the other flags that we've seen in, from South America. While we're learning about the rainforest, it has, there's something really amazing about it called a canopy. The canopy of the rainforest is like the roof. It's full of plants and the tops of trees. And I have a cool song about the canopy of the rainforest. Would you like to learn it with me? Most plants and animals live in the canopy. Blue morph butterflies fly in the canopy. Branches and leaves are what make the canopy high above the ground. Lots of sunlight shines in the canopy. Lots of rain is captured in the canopy. Food is plentiful in the canopy, high above the ground. Monkeys and bats live in the canopy. Toucans, parrots live in the canopy. Iguanas and boas live in the canopy, high above the ground. Isn't that a great song about the rainforest? Would you like to sing it with me this time? Here we go. Most plants and animals live in the canopy. Blue morph butterflies live in the canopy. Branches and leaves are what make up the canopy high above the ground. Lots of sunshine shines in the canopy. Lots of rain is captured in the canopy. Food is plentiful in the canopy high above the ground. Monkeys and bats live in the canopy. Toucans and parrots live in the canopy. Guanas and boas live in the canopy high above the ground. 
That is such a great song. Let's see what else we're doing. Hi everyone. I'm so excited to be learning about Bolivia and the Amazon rainforest that is a part of Bolivia. I have a book about the Amazon rainforest and I wonder how many animals we're going to see in this story. It's a story about a tree in the Amazon rainforest called the Great Kapok Tree. And as we can see here, there is lots of green. And can you see the animals in the trees? And there's a man down here. I wonder if he'll be in the story. Okay, let's start. Here is a map. These are the continents we're learning about. And today and this week, we're learning about the continent of South America. And can you see this green part here? That is the Amazon rainforest. Look how big it is. It's almost as big as Australia. The Great Kapok Tree. Two men walked into the rainforest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with the sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now, all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men and wondered why they had come. The larger man stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. Then he left. Can you see the great kapok tree there? What's in the tree? There's a snake. The smaller man took the ax he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack, whack, whack. The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop, chop, chop. The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and neck. Whack, chop, whack. Oh no, he's hitting the kapok tree. Can you see there? Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the floor of the great kapok tree. Before he knew it, the heat and the hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down its trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash the axe had made in the tree. Then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in this kapok tree and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest, you see. All living things depend on one another. See all the beautiful butterflies and the bee just there. A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the kapok tree. They chattered to the sleeping man. Senor, we have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die, and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away and the forest will become a desert. Do you think that's a good thing? find out. A toucan and a macaw and a cock of the rock flew down from the canopy. Senor squawked the toucan, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear the underbrush and soon the forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only black and smouldering ruins remain. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of a leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped in the man's ear. Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives. Many ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down this great kapok tree. Look how many frogs there are. And if he chops down the tree, there'll be no home for them. 
A jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the dappled light and shadows of the understory, no one had noticed him. Now he leapt down and padded silently over to the sleeping man. He growled in his ear, Senor, the kapok tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Four tree porcupines swung down from branch to branch and whispered to the man, Senor, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And Senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you will destroy that which gives, gives us all life. Several anteaters climbed down the kapok tree with their young, clinging to their backs. The unstriped anteater said to the sleeping man, Senor, you are chopping down this tree with no thought for the future, and surely you know what happens tomorrow depends on what you do today. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. Would you like to live in a world without trees? I wouldn't. A three-toed sloth had begun climbing down from the canopy when the men first appeared. Only now did she reach the ground. Plodding ever so slowly over to the sleeping man, she spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, on what would you feast your eyes on? See the sloth there and the baby sloth. A child from the Yanomamo tribe who lived in the forest knelt over the sleeping man. He murmured in his ear, Senor, when you wake, please look upon us all with new eyes. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child and all around him staring were the creatures who depend upon the great kapok tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. Imagine waking up with all those animals looking at you. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. The man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor, but he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely silent. The man stood and picked up his ax. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree. Suddenly he stopped. He turned and looked at all the animals and the child. He hesitated. Then he dropped the ax and walked out of the rainforest. He didn't chop down the tree. Do you think he made a good choice? We have the Amazon rainforest and lots and lots of trees. But if we chop down all those trees, where would the animals live? And where would all these beautiful colours, animals, leaves, trees, flowers, frogs, all these amazing creatures, where would they live? I think the man made an excellent choice in choosing to drop his axe and walk away. He made a smart choice in looking after the rainforest. I have a song about an animal that lives in the rainforest. It's called a boa constrictor. And I saw one in the story. Do you remember? It was in the tree and it was sliding. And he was the first animal to talk to the man. Would you like to sing it with me? It goes like this. I've been swallowed by a boa constrictor. I've been swallowed by a boa constrictor. Oh no, oh no, it's up to my toes. Oh gee, oh gee, he swallowed my knees. Oh heck, oh heck, he swallowed my neck. 
Oh dread, oh dread, he swallowed my head. Oh no, the boa constrictor has swallowed me. Would you like to sing that again? Are you ready? I've been swallowed by a boa constrictor. I've been swallowed by a boa constrictor. Oh no, oh no, he swallowed my toes. Oh gee, oh gee, he swallowed my knee. Oh heck, oh heck, he swallowed my neck. Oh dread, oh dread, he swallowed my head. He swallowed me. Did you like that song? All right, let's go see what we're doing next. Hi everyone. Wow, thanks for that great story, Lauren. I loved learning about the rainforest and why it's so important to look after it. And one of, the favorite, one of my favorite animals in that story was a boa constrictor. So I've got a great experience here today that where we can make a really long snake like a boa constrictor. Oh, that sounds exciting. What do we need to make a boa constrictor? So any kind of paper or anything you can find at home. Here we've got a couple of pieces of different colored paper that we can use something to draw with so we can decorate our snake or some stickers. You might also need a stapler or some sticky tape so we can make this snake together. So how do we make the snake? How do we start? So to start this snake you need to cut your paper into strips like this and you're going to turn your strip into a circle. And once you have a circle, I'm going to use a stapler today. You only need one staple. Watch your fingers. Wow. And then we have a circle. That is amazing. And would you like to give it a go making a circle, Lauren? I would love to make one. So if I make a circle, or I've heard that if you get another circle and you thread it through like this, yep. and you create a circle, you're actually creating a chain. chain. Perfect. So I might try using sticky tape because you might have, you might not have a stapler at home, you might only have sticky tape. Exactly. But you can also use glue and you can try other ways to join your snake together. But I'm going to try sticky tape. And did you know, Lauren, that in the Amazon rainforest, there is a really, really big snake? No, I didn't. And it's called an anaconda. It wow. is the largest snake in the world. Wow, that must be big. Is that a picture of an anaconda here? That is a picture of an anaconda. That looks huge. It's very big. Looks a little bit scary, but I actually really love his colours. It looks like a green colour. Do you yeah, think great colours? Do you think that the colours that he has here are actually would help him camouflage? Definitely. In the Amazon rainforest? Definitely. Plus, snakes live on the ground, mostly. These snakes like to slither up the trees oh. and hang in the branches of the, of the big trees. But did you also know that in the rainforest, on the ground is dark all the time? It's dark? Always dark. Like nighttime? Like nighttime. Always dark. Wow. And the reason for that is because of the canopy of the rainforest. Oh, so, so it only lets a little bit of light through. That's right. Look at this, we're oh, starting to good. make some sort of chain and it looks sort of like the body of a snake. A so we'll bit. keep adding more, so you just loop it through like that. And a staple. So you can make a boa constrictor like this with a friend or by yourself. By yourself? Mm, what colour will I choose? I think I'm going to choose brown. So this time we've got a few spots on the outside, this time I'm going to turn it and have it the brown on the outside. So thread it through. Can I try using the stapler? Of course. Thank you, you're very kind for sharing. I'm going to decorate my plain piece of paper, I oh, think. Oh, what a great idea. Yes. I might do the same. So we're starting to get our snake body. And I think I'm going to choose yellow. So as you can see here on the anaconda, he does have some patterns on there. And some snakes have diamond patterns, or they have stripes. Do. And so that differs so you know what type of snake they are. But as you can see with the anaconda, he has lots of brown and green to camouflage himself so he can sneak up and eat his prey. Exactly. Because he eats other animals, he's that big. So I think I'm going to do some diamonds on this pattern. Diamonds? Diamonds. Oh, I like diamonds. Diamonds. And so he looks like he's jeweled. I think I will do a 
swirl on my page. Oh, I love how creative our snake is getting. I'm going to try using some sticky tape again. So I'm drawing lots of swirls. And I heard yes. and I learnt in the story of there's so many different types of animals that live in the Amazon. We have learnt about sloths. And there's some colourful birds called toucans, who have a very long colourful beak. And macaws, which are very colourful parrots. So there's animals that are very colourful that are great at hiding in the forest because the rainforest, the Amazon rainforest, is quite colourful. That's right. It's not only brown and green, it has bright coloured flowers everywhere. My goodness, look how long our snake is getting. Long. Let's keep going. I think we can make it longer. I think so too. Because the Amazon rainforest has very large snakes, including the anaconda. That's right. Also, do you know, in the rainforest, when it rains, it takes 10 minutes for the rain to fall from the canopy to the ground. Wow. Is that because there's so many trees? Exactly. So many trees filtering the water down. Wow. The rainforest always looks wet because, yes. well, it's called rain, rainforest. So the rainforest always looks wet because the canopy and the rainforest has so many trees and plants that it traps the water in there. And so the water becomes steam. And so it's very hot and steamy and misty in the rainforest. It certainly is. And I heard in the Amazon rainforest that it is so important to our, what's called our ecosystem, mm -hmm. that the people have tried to start to chop trees down, just like in our story, but people are learning how important it is to look after the rainforest because it's home to so many animals, so many plants. And if we destroy those, where are the animals gonna live? Exactly. Where are our plants and our beautiful flowers going to grow? So in the story, it said that if the Amazon is burnt or it's chopped down, it will turn into a desert because yeah. South America is very hot. Yes. And the rainforest and plants, because it's so hot, it creates mist that helps those plants grow. Wow. And I, what about all the bugs that would live there? Is there a lot of bugs that live in the rainforest? There are so many bugs. There are 2.5 million different species of bugs. Wow, that is a lot of bugs. That's a lot of bugs. <laughs> I love bugs. I think they're so fascinating. So there must be all different types of colors and shapes. Absolutely. That would be amazing to explore the rainforest. Maybe you can, did you know that we have rainforests in Australia? Not as big as the Amazon. No. But in our rainforest, there are lots of bugs in Australia's rainforest. So maybe you can go for a bushwalk and try and find some of those bugs and creatures that live in the rainforest here in Australia. I think my favourite animal, or another favourite animal, would be a frog. A frog? I love listening to the frog sing. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you know there's poisonous frogs in the Amazon? Oh, I've heard, and they're beautiful colours. They are, but when they're beautiful colours, it is actually telling other animals and people, danger, exactly. do not touch me. That's right. Yes, so sometimes animals have warning signs on them, which means they may look beautiful, but they're dangerous. Very dangerous. So never touch an animal that you do not know. That's or right. Or a wild animal. Look at our snake. So beautiful. Our boa constrictor looks amazing. I love all the different patterns. We've used stickers and we've got colored paper. It's looking but beautiful. A snake has a tail and a head. That's right. So we need to make a head. Yes. So I think maybe we might just draw some eyes because snakes have two eyes. That's right. Just like us. And they have a tongue that has a fork at the end. So it has a point. Yep. And that point actually helps it smell. So snakes smell with their tongues. Can they you smell with your tongue? <laughs> I don't think so. We use our so. nose. That's right. But snakes smell with their tongue. They slither it out and go sss. Okay, I think we have finished our snake. Look at that. Beautiful. You can make your snake as long as possible. You can make one really, really long like the anaconda here, which is the largest snake in the world, or you can make a small snake. It's your choice. 
We can't wait to see how creative you are in making your own snake at home. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.